Well, hello again. Today I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. That's right. I want to talk about film positives. The film positive seems to be the biggest barrier keeping people like yourself from getting into screen printing at home. Ah, why won't my screen expose? In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you four different ways to make a film positive without any expensive equipment. Let's get started. Stop shaking. Stop shaking. Number one, have them printed by a professional service. I've included a link in the description below. Number two, hand cut stencils. If you have some freehand or tracing skills, this is a great do-it-yourself option. Or if you're lazy like me, you could just print it out. Grab yourself a blade and cut out the black areas to create a stencil. Solid graphics and text are the best way to go with this method. Now you're gonna lay the stencil over the flat side of the screen, reading backwards, and tape it to the mesh. Flip the screen over and tape the remaining open areas of mesh. Create a dam with tape around the inside edge. This makes cleanup later a hell of a lot easier. Now, Ink the screen, load a shirt, and do a print. The stencil after the first print sticks to the mesh, allowing you to do multiple prints with the paper stencil. Share the print with your heat gun, and move on to the next method. Number three, hand painted films. This method works surprisingly well. Grab a paintbrush, just some hobbyist acrylic paint, and a blank transparent film. Lick your thumb and index finger and pinch the film. Paint on the side that sticks to your finger. If you got the skills, you can go all basky out on the film. If, however, you're like me and you'd rather trace some shit, then do it up. Tape the printout to your desk, and then tape the film positive over the printout. Bust out that black paint and start tracing. The idea here is to build up a completely blacked out image. And this method will allow you to get much greater detail than the paper stencil method. Now that you got that fucker painted, let it dry and you can use it just like any other film positive. That's method number three. Let's move on to method four. And last but certainly not least is number four, hand cut rubylith. This is just a warning. This stuff has become rare as shit. None of my local suppliers had it. I had to actually resort to eBay to get my hands on this stuff. So I ordered them, sat on my ass, and then finally two weeks later, the UPS guy showed up. Ugh, not the most convenient solution, but I'm showing you how to do it anyway. You're gonna print out your graphic just like we did on the hand-painted film. Tape it to a cutting board just like this. You have to make sure with Rubolith that you are cutting the correct side. See, you have a clear carrier sheet and then you have the red Rubolith film. You want to make sure that the carrier sheet is facing down on the graphic and that the red film is facing up. Place it over the printout and tape it down. Now you're going to grab your X-Acto knife and start stenciling the image out. Fuck! The red film acts as a UV blocker. Removing the red film from the carrier allows the UV light to harden the emulsion beneath it. There's a great many benefits to Rubolith. The main two are the fact that after you've put in the labor, you can hang on to these films forever. The second main thing is that you can do really fine details if you have the steady hand and the patience. There's also the added bonus of it being punk rock as fuck. So I've officially given you four different ways to create film positives without any expensive equipment. You're welcome. To thank me for all my hard work, punch the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this bad boy with your friends. I'm Cam with Monument Limited. Remember to think of us for all of your professional screen printing needs. One of those gots to be it.